This week has been a ton of fun movie and television news released. We've gotten all sorts of new information for different movies, TV shows. The Book of Boba Fett dropped a trailer. Morbius dropped a trailer. And here we are waiting for more and more Spider-Man No Way Home news and or leaks at this point. Since Sony refuses to give us anything official for that film. However, from the Morbius trailer exists one very big question for me that I think is very, very important moving forward and could even be a connecting point to Spider-Man No Way Home and the rest of the MCU. So in today's video, we're going to try to tackle this extremely difficult question, where and when does Morbius take place? Now, from a lot of different moments in this specific new trailer that we got, we could argue probably any of the Spider-Man universes or in Morbius' own universe. There were several different suggestions in many different realms or multiverses throughout Marvel Studios history. Now, that could be MCU, that could be the Sam Raimi universe, that could be Morbius' own universe, or even the Spider-Man No Way Home universe. So I want to start the video by going through all the different evidences of what timeline we could be in, and then I'll end the video with a lively debate as to where it actually is. When the video is over, let me know where you think Morbius is taking place in the universes of Marvel Studios. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm Chris. And don't forget we have a giveaway currently going on. I'll talk more about it at the end of the video, but it is for this cool Spider-Man collectible. So subscribe to this channel and the Cosmic Wonders channel to not miss out on that. Now I wanna go through all of the separate evidences that show where Morbius could be taking place. And there are a lot of them. So it'll be interesting one, to gather it all together, and then two, to try to speculate and figure out what it means. Now, I have a crazy personal theory as to what could be going on here, and in my mind, it's the only explanation after everything we've seen. However, let's go over the evidences first. For starters, in the original trailer, we saw MCU's Vulture standing there talking to Morbius. We see him again in the second trailer, and this is after it's referenced that some people are going to want to try to use him for evil, and we already know he's a bad guy. So we have a character coming from the MCU in the Morbius movie. So clearly we're thinking, hey, it's in the MCU. But then again, in the first trailer and in the second, we get one of the more compelling arguments that shows Sam Raimi's Spider-Man outfit, so probably Tobey Maguire, graffitied onto the wall with the words murderer written all over him. Now, there have been tons of speculation about this over the last year and a half, as this did come out in the first trailer, whether Sony didn't have the ability to use Tom Holland, so they stuck a different Spider-Man up there, or if this was obviously in the Sam Raimi universe, so that's the Spider-Man that's there. Maybe some stuff had happened with Tobey Maguire that we didn't know about yet. So many different questions. However, we'll just go ahead and mark this as an evidence for Sam Raimi's universe at the moment. There's also a ton of information that would lead you to believe that this is the Amazing Spider-Man universe. Number one, the Oscorp building that although isn't the same as the building that we saw in Spider-Man movie, has the same logo of Oscorp. Now that's a very easy possibility that it is simply not in New York, it's in a completely different city, and Oscorp has a building there and it's a different building, but the logo is the same and for me, the design of the logo is more important than the design of the building. Then we have on the newspaper a little bit of a Rhino teaser where it talks about Rhino on the loose. Now this specific sentence talks about a Rhino on the loose and how it was a hoax from the zoo, but this has to be for me a reference of Rhino the character. You have to remember they print up these papers, they make them whatever they want them to be, so they added this about the Rhino on the top. It also talks about Black Cat, friend or foe, which could be of course another reference to an amazing Spider-Man character who could be living in the same universe as Morbius. There is one more big hint, and this one is where things start getting even more confusing as if they weren't enough already. At the very end of the trailer, he talks to somebody and is like, hey, don't worry. No, I'm just kidding, I'm Venom, and makes a joke about being Venom. Now he's referring to, and it is my 100% opinion, that he's referring to Venom from the Venom movies, Tom Hardy's Venom. So he lives in the same universe as this, Venom. Now that only helps us so much because we don't know what universe necessarily Venom was living in prior to the post credit scene of the last Venom film, Venom vs. Carnage. 
This could imply a few different universes based off of what we know about Venom and Morbius taken together. Maybe we can figure out where all of this is happening. But we can definitely take out Sam Raimi's universe because they already had a Venom and I don't believe that this Venom would be existing in the same multiverse as the one in Sam Raimi's universe. So I don't think immediately they're living in Sam Raimi's universe, which makes it really confusing because there's a Spider-Man that looks exactly like Sam Raimi's Spider-Man on the wall over here with the words murderer written over it. We can also rule out immediately that he's in the MCU because Venom wasn't in the MCU until just recently. So everybody knowing about Venom and us not knowing about Venom in the MCU seems unlikely that they're gonna go ahead and give him a history there, showing everything that's going on with Venom, but not having a movie about it. Venom only just got into the MCU according to the post credit scene of Venom vs. Carnage, so people know about him in his universe, but not yet in the MCU. So if they're referencing Venom as a joke of a scary character that Morbius could be, then it's likely he's in this universe where Venom has been. So you can take that and get even more confused because, well, there's a character from the MCU running around trying to convince Morbius to work for him and do evil things, according to what we saw in the second trailer, which you would be completely right. There is this craziness going on all around, characters from each universe and moments from each universe's making appearances in this film. On top of that, off of the trailers leaked from set, we have a poster that says, where is Spider-Man? Question mark. It's a Daily Bugle poster, and it's trying to emphasize Spider-Man's been missing. So it could be Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man went missing after the death of his lovely lady, Emma Stone, in the second movie, or it's possible that they were taken off into a different universe, leading us into No Way Home, where all of the Spider-Men will show up together in one timeline. So in this timeline, Spider-Man's gone missing. Now, based off of these trailers and a few leaks, any possibility of universal arrangement is possible. He could be in any of the MCU or any of the Amazing Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire. All of it's possible. I think some are less likely than others, which I highlighted during the evidences. I think most likely Morbius will be taking place in the universe that was going to be the Venom universe. Now, we never got confirmation if that was in the Amazing Spider-Man universe or the Sam Raimi universe, and it all took place in San Francisco, not in New York, where we would get the most evidence for that. However, Sony was originally trying to create the Sony Picture universe of Spider-Man characters, which has kind of been disbanded now that they have this new deal with Disney, where they're going to be bringing some characters into the MCU through whatever this crazy flash was that we saw brought Venom over. And it could be any number of things, whether it was something Wanda did, something Loki did, something Doctor Strange did during his spell. It could be any number of things that is causing characters to converge over to the MCU. And hopefully we get more answers of that either in Spider-Man No Way Home or in Multiverse of Madness. Which brings me to my current theory, and that is that this isn't happening in any one universe. In fact, it's going to be happening in parts of all of them. Morbius probably existed in Venom's universe, but as we saw at the end of Venom, that universe has been affected by something, some unknown happening, Doctor Strange's spell, Loki, Wanda, you can guess it best as I can. However, that didn't only cause Venom to leave that universe, it caused other things to mix into it. So what's going on? Well, all of the crazy multiverse stuff is starting to take effect, and this is our first look at it. It's actually a pretty crazy but complete theory. All sorts of different characters, posters, newspapers, signs, logos, are starting to get mixed together in this one universe due to the results of everything going on in the MCU pre-Multiverse of Madness. So we're able to see different items and quotes and recollections and callbacks to different things throughout different universes, all in this one trailer, because the direction Sony decided they were going to go doesn't any longer exist, so they've gone and added all of these different directions trying to show the Multiverse of Madness is happening in the background. That's my guess as to what's going on, because it really can't make sense that this is the Sam Raimi universe, because the symbiote already existed there. So Venom couldn't be Venom in San Francisco, since Venom symbiote already existed in New York. 
On top of that, it gets more confusing when you see MCU characters and different logos from the movie that was The Amazing Spider-Man, and then references to Rhino who was The Amazing Spider-Man. All sorts of different notes, connotations, inferences coming from Sony here, and I think they're trying to be confusing because they're trying to connect Sony's characters to the very successful MCU. However, we're going to have to wait and see. Maybe in the next trailer we'll get a more clear and obvious way of dissecting, but at this point, anything you see could have been brought over from this weird multiverse convergence happening. The same thing that brought Venom from his world, which is potentially Morbius' world, to the MCU. Let me know what your thoughts and theories are. Where do you think Morbius is happening after I've lined all of these different evidences out? Or do you agree with me on my theory that they're trying to jumble it all together to make it one big crazy ride? Thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. Just a reminder about the giveaway, we are giving away this really cool Spider-Man action figure collectible. All you need to do to enter is subscribe to this channel and subscribe to the Cosmic Wonders channel. We will be picking a random comment very soon to announce who the winner for the video is. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.